Uh, anyways, game one between uh, PTM and Sonic Goon, Tower of Heaven. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, always a good starter stage. All right, PTM, uh, short for Potate Missile, looks like. Since you are um, also a potato, perhaps you can enlighten us on uh, on this player's tendencies. Yeah, uh, potato after my own heart. Um, I'm hoping to see a lot of buttons and a lot of cool stuff, and I'm so far getting my wishes. This is a pretty oh, yeah. cool edge guard. So uh, Sonic Goon really struggling to get back on stage here. Yeah, okay. kind of stuck on the platform. Yeah, there it is. It, Finally finds it with, I think that's, is that down special? Oh, that's a dumb question. Down, down special, <laughs> the dive. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That, that one? Oh, yeah, wow, that's, that's yeah. <laughs> All right, I, not a, not a super common edge guarding technique that I've seen personally, mm -hmm. but Sonic Goon kind of making it work. Yes, yeah, uh, that's a technique that I haven't really seen used often since uh, the best Australian player in 2017, Gabe. That's it, that's one of his favorites. <laughs> I mean, it is. Am I scary. am I am I joking or not? You you can't tell. <laughs> I honestly have no frame of reference, so I'm just going to take your uh, your words at face value. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do with that information what you will, but. <laughs> Ooh, accidentally um, said we get to save visitor bring. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, this is still a very very even game. Both of these players neither can seem to grab a huge definitive lead over their opponent. Sonic Goon just kind of getting a lot of these random stray hits, but the damage is really starting to rack up on Patat Missile. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I'd call this one relatively even, provided Zetterburn doesn't die right here. Okay, yeah, I guess the parry there. That's... Yeah, down smash. Barely kills. Yeah, I felt like a, if the DI was just a tiny bit more on point, uh, Patat, PTM probably could survive that, but... Uh, you know, it is a tragedy. Oh, oh well. um, all right. Well, I mean, if you're struggling to uh, finish out your opponent's stock, maybe just have them finish it off themselves. That happens a surprising amount. It's just like you've been alive and playing this, playing in this game for so long that sometimes you just get, you will eventually flood <laughs> in this game. So, yeah. Ooh, got a nice grab. I like that down at really good pickup again. Sonic Goon getting hit with that tipper F strong. Yeah. P PTM showing showing patience, which is which is good, but it might not be good patience because Sonic Goon is kind of leaving himself vulnerable a lot in the air. Oh yeah, capitalizes with the forward smash there. Sonic Goon is uh, doing a lot of stuff in the air that is punishable by Clarence big hitboxes. So waiting on the ground isn't a bad idea, but I would like to see some more aggression. Yeah. Um... All right. Uh, yeah, just, probably just approaching with more stuff. Sorry. What's up? Just really quickly, I'd like to make another reaction because apparently I am double blind. This is winner's semi. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. I read it wrong on dunsmash.gg. So, um, oh God. Uh, <laughs> look. Congratulations to Google Gaming Sox for winner's finals. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yes, it was. Okay, fun. game two. No, we're all good. Uh, game two going to Treetop Lodge. Um, I've been told that this is a good stage for Claren. Yep, also a good stage for Zetterburn, but I'm thinking the Claren partially outweighs it. Still though, we'll have to see. It's just a nice fire character stage. All the fire characters <laughs> like being here. Let's see. It's nice and small so they can get their aggression in. Uh, the low platform is nice for recovery. Because they have um... recovery. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Zetterburns might be the least bad, but I'm still counting him in with the other two. So far, again, just a very even matchup. Um, I feel like that's what we're seeing a lot of between these two. It's just like both of them are just not really able to continue their advantage shades. I feel like we see Sonic Goon getting edge guarded a lot, but Hotap Missile just kind of struggling to actually finish off the stocks when they get Sonic Goon off stage. Uh, I so, yeah, side B as a parry punish is very good, but you have to make sure you tipper it. Yeah. You generally want to want to loose it as you're running through them, and not before you pass through them officially. Yeah, and honestly, like if you're not comfortable with 
that timing will honestly work on it, but if you yeah. are in the middle of bracket, then you might even be better off just using like down strong or F strong or something. But well, yeah, down anyways, air. Not... Yeah, down air. Ooh, <laughs> but I think definitely, down. definitely, definitely uh, make sure that you can get side B uh, parry punishes because that is a very good uh, move for Claren. Oh, rare Fortnite used off stage to refresh the double jump and provide an easy recovery. We actually saw that in the last game as well. Lag. PTM just kind of aware. Let's go neutral, yeah! Um, PTM just really aware of like what tools they have available to actually recover. Um, and I feel like that's kind of evident just by the fact that Sonic Goon doesn't really seem to be getting PTM Ooh. off stage a lot for edge guards. Yeah, Clarence down tilt does not really have an inside hit buck, so that will whiff if, if the other guy's right on top of you. It's great when they're not right on top of you, but yep. yeah, Sonic Goon just playing pretty aggressively right now. Yeah, Claren's um, move for, for that situation is generally up tilt. That one hits up, down, and all around. Yeah, see, good move. Up tilt, up strong, yeah. Tried to catch the uh, drift in, but yeah, Sonic Goon just not going to get hit by the tipper. But this lead is just starting to get bigger and bigger. PTM's got to find the stock. There it is. Okay. Austin awesome, awesome Dak is confirmed. Let's go, Dakis! Woo! That's generally one of the things that Claren Claren's learned very late into their like onboarding process with the character. So it's nice to see PTM have it on deck. Yeah. <laughs> Claren is not one of the characters that I think of when I think of uh, characters like Dakis, but really good F strong out yep. with the ignite. Sonic Goon up two to zero right now. Um. Yeah. I mean, we kind of talked about it a little bit earlier. PTM. Got to play a little bit more aggressively. Uh, what else do you think like they could actually or actively be doing to uh, get a better foothold in this matchup? Uh, working on the edge guard is a good start. Zetterburn uh, does have a pretty tricky recovery at times, but I don't see Sonic Goon using those tricks. You know, uh, hit all his refreshes and the the flip off the downbeat. I haven't seen him do those at all. So he's kind of using a bad version of Zetterburn's recovery with not a lot of mix-ups. And I'd really like to see PTM punish the uh, the predictable stuff. Yeah, I feel like that really has been what we're seeing. Like, Sonic Goon is getting knocked off stage a lot. PTM has a lot of edge guarding opportunities, but very few of them actually lead into the stock. So, hopefully that's what we'll see in this game number three. Obviously, best of five set. Sonic Goon is one game away from taking it, but we're going to be going to Truple Pawn for uh, the counter pick. Yep. Uh, part of me almost feels like Sonic Goon does get a good amount of benefit from this stage pick just because of those off uh, offstage platforms. Oh yeah. Um, we've kind of been talking about how like Sonic Goon has been getting knocked off stage a lot and had to recover, and I feel like having those resources with those platforms off stage is just like a nice thing for them. So, these characters both have very similar stage lessons. They both they both like off stage platforms. They both like like small stages to to run in there and get your neutral wins on. They both like the same kind of platform layouts. Yeah. Oh, down strong, but it just doesn't kill. That does make a lot of sense. Uh, they both uh, functionally do have a lot of the same play style, um, <laughs> or at least the same general objectives for their gameplay. Yeah. So what I would say the 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 difference is is that Claren, Zetterburn isn't as good on some stages as Claren. They're both Ow. the best on some stages, the same stages as each other, but Zetterburn is worse on Gates than Claren is. So that would actually be my my go-to counter pick in the matchup as, as Claren. Yeah, maybe that'll be something if uh, either PTM just doesn't know about the matchup or uh, maybe something that they can you know take away from if they do any bot analysis. Yeah, so Gates and Abyss, up there as far as being Zetterburn's two worst stages, and Claren is entirely fine on the stages. It's, they're not her best stages, but they're very good. She doesn't really have bad ones. Hideout is arguably not, bad, but she has the funny up smash. It's not so much about how good the stage is for her, so much as it is uh, how bad the stage is for Zetterburn. Yeah. Dash tag, not gonna get the up strong uh, sweet spot though. Yeah, again, Sonic Goon just off stage, but there's the off stage platform, gonna be able to get that good air dodge back on the stage, but. 129% really feels like PTM should be able to get away to take the stock soon. Yeah, Perry will do. There it is. Yeah, that sweet spot side special again, just so good for Perry punishes. Great combo here. Oh, yeah, good, good really. by Sonic Goon. Gets past the Nair, doesn't go off stage. 
Yeah, kind of just dropped it with that side special too, but Sonic Goon was playing that to DIing really well. Did I already say that Sonic Goon was also in my pool this tournament? <laughs> no kidding. It's really <laughs> I'm just saying, pool, pool A2, see. pretty pretty strong. <laughs> Got a click going from pool A2, apparently. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, this is uh, looking really solid for PTM right now. Got a really nice lead. Um, still alive. Still off stage, though. Got to make it back. Great recovery. Yeah. Good parry on that fireball, but uh, yeah, just yeah, kind of up smash. Doesn't quite drift far enough. Kind of a the a worst of both worlds kind of drift where you don't you don't go far in enough to mix them up, you don't go far out enough to get away. So you just get hit. Takes the game though. Yeah. The game four here. Um, what was different in that game three? Like what worked for PTM? Uh, I was probably able to use the side platforms more effectively than Zetterburn. Zetterburn likes the side platforms mainly just for recovering, whereas Claren can use them to extend combos and other such things more easily. Yeah, that does actually make sense. Um, I, I think this counter pick is a very logical one for Sonic Goon. Uh, we're actually going to be going to Merchant Port. Uh, we'll get that started. But I, I do think that does make a lot of sense because, um, as far as I'm aware, uh, we do Zetterburn does tend to like uh, a lot of on-stage platforms as well, just so you can actually like move around and do stuff like flat drop uh like bear and stuff like that yeah so claren's main uh main main deal with on stage platforms is she likes to use them to ledge boost off of and on this stage you can still kind of do that but you don't really you don't go the traverse the full stage like another other stages like tower of heaven you can go the full stage this one you don't quite make it all the way Ooh, great Ooh. yeah i love that follow-up out of the fireball um yeah, and this is really good for Sonic Goon, just getting this very early, very influential lead and uh, doing a really good job with the Shrink, continuing to build that. Yeah, PTM just missing these parries two in a row. Just so much damage getting ratted on right now. Let's see. Some nice good Shrink coming in. Yeah. Uh, it goes for up strong there. It was not at enough percent to kill, though, so I... It's always better to throw Zetter off stage than, than hit him upwards. Yeah, I mean, I can understand if you think that you have the read on the DI and you're gonna expect to hit the tipper, but if you're not 100% sure, just get the get the Lion Boy off stage. All right, that does confirm. Maybe a, maybe a DI fall by Sonic Boom, but it was close. Ooh, speaking of DI, Potato Missile kinda, kinda going in there. Should've maybe gone out. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very apt way of putting it. Uh, either way, right now, Sonic Goon, yeah, again, just a very, very solid spot. Oh, uh, just too slow. Back. Too slow on that, uh, that edge guard. You hit the forward air, immediately forward tilt after that. You tried to go for down... But I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if this person's even listening, I shouldn't say you. They tried to go for down tilt, but they, they waited to start it because they it would have it would have low-profiled otherwise. Zed, uh, yeah. Not low-profiled, but it would have gone under Zetterburn, so they waited, but Zetterburn got the tech. To avoid this, just forward tilt instead. That's a great confirm, though. Oh, yeah, Nair getting that sweet spot, finding that down strong. Yeah. Um, now the stocks are even, but they are still 80% yep. down. Good chain getting started here, though. Just go for a round uh, in the middle of that. So, though, another I'm, I'm one guessing of... trying to read, like, a roll in or something. See if Claren can rack up more percent, maybe get some nice some nice edge guard going. And uh, look Ooh. for another one of those Nair down strongs. The Doctor Violence, it's called. Do you have that list memorized? I have, some, I have most of them memorized. Some of them. Fair up strong to yeah. be getting the stock. Uh, that so is funny. terrible. <laughs> Sonic Goon taking it three to one over PTM. 